want to review some of the work we've done previously with function notation. Suppose that f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 8. Let's find f of 0. Well, remember, this is just a substitution problem. 2 times 0 squared minus 8. So that's 2 times 0 subtract 8, which is negative 8. So f of 0 is negative 8. That means that the ordered pair x equals 0, y equal negative 8, is a member of this function. When x is equal to negative 3, f of negative 3 is 2 times negative 3 squared minus 8. Negative 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18, subtract 8 is 10. So when x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 10, that means that the ordered pair negative 3, 10 belongs to this function. Now how about f of a? Well, when x is equal to a, f of x is 2 a squared minus 8. And I can't simplify that until I know what a is. How about f of a minus 3? Well, in this case, x is a minus 3, so f of x is 2 times a minus 3 quantity squared minus 8. Now, this I can simplify by multiplying 2 times a squared minus 6a plus 9 minus 8. And what's this? 2a squared minus 12a plus 18 minus 8. So 2a squared minus 12a, and let's see if I can get this right, plus 10. Does that look right? Okay, so the point of this is, it doesn't matter what's in these parentheses right here. These are all substitution problems. Once we know that f of x is 2x squared minus 8, then that's what f does to whatever's in the parentheses. When it's x, you get 2x squared minus 8. When it's 0, 2 times 0 squared minus 8. a, 2 times a squared minus 8. a minus 3, 2 times a minus 3 squared minus 8. It's the same thing every time. Now let's look at a problem that involves a graph and this function notation. It says graph f of x equal x squared and then show f of 1, f of 2, and f of 3. So I put the graph up here already. So this is the graph of y equal x squared right here. Now f of 1, if I go out to 1 on the x-axis, f of 1 is the distance up to the graph from that point. So this is f of 1. If I go to 2 on the x-axis, f of 2 is this distance up to the graph from x equal 2 on the x-axis. So that's f of 2. If I want f of 3, I go out to x equal 3 and then up to the graph. This vertical line right here has a length that's equal to f of 3. f of 3, f of 1, f of 2, and f of 3 are also the y-coordinates of this point, this point, and this point. So there's a lot of different ways to look at this function notation on the graph of a function. So that's just a few of the things associated with functions and function notation.